It is so easy to cut a dog's ear on the inside when shaving with the clippers. Hi guys, my name is Colleen. Welcome to Good Dog Grooming. So today I'm gonna to share with you my tips and tricks that I use to minimize the risk of cutting the dog's ear, as well as two real world demos. And if you stick around to the end, I'll include the footage of an ear being plucked, which is a whole different video where I'll explain that, but I'll just tack it on the end of this video just for fun as a little extra bonus. Shaving flush to the ear canal is kind of usually a precursor to ear plucking, but it also is done as a regular maintenance, even for dogs whose ears don't get plucked. Oh, I need to interject that actually this is a relatively high level grooming skill. And I recommend that if you were completely inexperienced that you might leave this up to the professionals. But if you are learning to groom and you already are getting comfortable with shaving the bottoms of pads with your mini clippers, which I do with my mini clippers set on a 40, that is a good prerequisite for shaving the inside of ears. Because once you're comfortable doing the pads, then you kind of have a feel for how to maneuver the clippers and handle a dog and things like that. So. This is not just a, hey, I'm brand new and I've never held clippers before. Go ahead and shave the inside of a dog's ear. That I do not recommend. Okay guys, we're using my boxer beta today just so that we can at least see what an ear looks like here. I'm going to talk about the inner ear area here as think of it as a circle, just to simplify this one concept. And here's the concept I want to explain. When you are using your clippers to shave a dog's ear, you never go across that circle. You always go from the middle out in any direction. If you were to draw a line anywhere through that circle, you never start on the far side of that line and go across. These clippers are never going to go from here across or here across. They're only gonna start from either the middle out or further is fine too. So you can do you could do some of this kind of thing, okay? But you cannot come from up here and go across. And that line can be in any direction. But sometimes I do use the corner of my clippers a little bit. Sometimes I have it laying a little more flat. So I do little tricks and things like that. But I try really hard to avoid going across that circle because you're more likely to catch weird little bumps and lumps the wrong way with your clippers. Okay guys, we traded out Beta for Bender because he's now sitting in this spot. I always use my mini clippers with an adjustable five-in-one blade set on a 30 when I do the inside of the ears. What I want you to know about a dog's ear is all dogs, crazily enough, have this wild double flap on their ears and it is the easiest thing to accidentally cut. So when you are buzzing and trying to shave this really close, this is the main reason why I tell people, do not try to go across all the way. You can go from the middle, from the middle, from the middle, and from the middle. But if you are coming back here and trying to go across, you are so easily going to run into that flap. These teeth are wide enough that a part of that flap can go right in between and then that cutting blade cuts it. And it sucks. It sucks when you cut a dog's ear. <laughs> One more thing I forgot to mention. I never, ever, 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 ever recommend using scissors or shears of any kind for this task. So my tips that I always follow are to only go from the middle out and to move slowly and to understand that you can use the corner of your clippers a little bit when you need to and you can keep them flat and you can ride up the leather a bit if you want to clear more of the hair that's up here but if your dog let's say it's a cocker spaniel with like nice long hair that's flowing off this ear off the top, right? And you're trying to clear some of that out from under. If you go too far and you accidentally sort of chop into that past the leather, you might affect the look on the outside of it when the ear is 
down. And so whenever I'm shaving the inside of the ear, I'm very careful to stop a good you know centimeter before I get to the edge of the leather. Now that's different if I'm doing like a schnauzer ear and I'm trying to really get the whole ear completely short all the way around. But on most ears, I'm just trying to get right in here pretty clear and sometimes up to here. And real quick, I just wanna mention that when I'm holding that ear, I usually flatten it against the head pretty well. So any dog, especially if they have a floppy ear like that, I like to flip it up and then try to kind of hold it with my hand like that. So then I can work with my clippers here. And I have a little bit of control over their skull. Not a lot, it depends. Mainly what I often do is kind of try to flatten it out for myself so that I can work with it. And you'll see me do that in the demo as well. Good job. Very good. I will pluck this after. Ooh, look at those moles. You gotta watch for that. Good job, you doing great. Good boy. Yeah. Yes, good job. There's a lot going on there. Dog's trying to escape. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's so dense that it'll be good to clear it. Good, good. A little at a time. Good doggy. Get the easy stuff first. We'll get into the hard stuff towards the end. Make it easier to clean too. Huh? Doing good. Very good. You're doing good. Good. You're doing so good. Ooh. We're gonna clean them so good, aren't we? That's, that one turned out better than the other. He says thank you. Good job. A trainee. <laughs>